Why do you have this unicorn man? I'm building an ass wiping robot. I'm thinking that's like the pinnacle of shitty robots. My name is Simone Yach. I am the CEO and director of a company named Artificial Stupidity. <laughs> When I started building things, obviously I was pretty bad at it. Can't be good at things from the start, and I decided just to embrace that and roll with it and turn it into something funny. This is the workshop in where I live. I can't help but notice all this stuff right away, right here. <laughs> What's that guy right there? This is the first shitty robot that I ever built, so it's a toothbrush helmet. There's a microcontroller and Arduino board here, and then there's a servo shield. I just started building these things, and I posted them online, and I think Reddit is where it really started taking off. That's where the queen of shitty robots started. I owe a lot to Reddit. Somebody bestow that title on me. I mean, I embraced it too. I can't be like, no, it's... <laughs> Reddit is, it's like a tiger. It's great if it's your friend, but it can also eat you alive. What else is up on this table here? A Dremel tool, some plastic hands, really cool kinetic sand. It makes your fingers smell terrible though. Smell. Kind of rubbery. Can I show you the ass wiping robot? I haven't known how to shoot it because I obviously can't use my own butt. And it actually, he has like the flattest ass ever. It's not fully done yet. Here's the servo motor. It's gonna have a toilet paper roll. You press the button and the servo motor turns down and you just make toilet paper fly everywhere. Do you wanna see another project? So this is a package opener. The final version, the scissors are gonna open further. I'm still working on the strength. I think actually what's been hardest for me with building these projects is the mechanical aspect of it because it's a lot trickier than you would think. It's a lot of the same circular motion. I've been thinking about using linear motors, but I avoid anything that can be interpreted as a fucking machine because that's what everybody comments no matter what I build. It's the truth if you work on the internet and you're a woman. Do you want to see this? So I have a fig tree in the backyard and it was really hard to reach the figs. So I wanted to build an arm extender. There you go. You can grab things at length. Like this little, actually all this did was like crush the figs because they're very <laughs> soft. I got a little Goldie Blocks action figurine. She's a really cool inventor, my role model. I was thinking about people walking on the streets like and looking at their phones and especially when people were playing a lot of Pokemon Go. So I thought for one, you can use a helmet to protect your brain, but also to suspend your phone in front of your face so you can look at your phone and walk. My favorite jumpsuit is this one. What's that NASA one from? A follower that sent me her space camp suit. Oh, I feel so good when I wear it. Yeah, this is just great. I started making this charging station for my phone that's like a little cage. The phone is in the cage now. Don't play with it, Simone. I built a robot version of Jenna Marble's dog Kermit. It turned out a little bit worse than I had anticipated. Oh. <laughs> so this is the first woodworking project that I did in a really long time. 32 layers of plywood four days to make. It was a lot of work. So this is the pinnacle of narcissism because I just put my own name on it. Do you still have some of your more well-known robots? I do, yeah. My top video is probably the Wacom machine. And that one was the first one that started going really viral. So it's an alarm clock that slaps me in the face with a rubber arm. Oh, and here we have the applause machine. It's one of my favorite projects because it's just like very happy. The lipstick machine. I did a thousand layers of lipstick. It just moves the servo motor back and forth, listens to the button that's on top, and it puts it out on a matrix display. It's fun and it feels great, but I also just feel like a traveling circus. This is probably the most political project I've ever done. It's a pussy grabs back machine. So I built this with my friend whose name is Laura Kemp. So her workshop was close to a sex store. So it was like a fisting hand. And the way I strapped it to my waist was 
a strap on harness. <laughs> I actually haven't told that to anyone before. Put these L brackets so that it stops in the right position. Yeah, so I just like, ouch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, pussy grabs back. This is doomsday. I didn't really realize how terrifying it was gonna be. It was innocent enough. I just wanted something that could help me chop vegetables. And then I realized like, wait, this is actually gonna have knives flinging. So the way the chopping machine works is that there are two servo motors, continuous servo motors, so they go all the way around. What I wanted to get was a very forceful motion and that was what was tricky because you could just have it be attached directly to the motor, but then it's just gonna go, up and down and you're not gonna get that slam. I got a lot of comments on it. The chopping machine is the perfect response whenever somebody sends you dick pics you don't want. What else you got? So this was the first project that I built together with Adam Savage. This is a popcorn helmet. It kind of pokes me in the eyes, but that's the trade-off. As much as the shitty robots I build and, and what I do as just a form of comedy, I think it's also important to show that failure is a part of the process. It can sometimes be the end goal. People are very obsessed with building useful things and I think often that also stops people from getting started. I want people to build things and to actually fix the things that they have around them. Just allowing yourself to spend time on what you're enthusiastic about. I used to be a very duty-driven person and now it's like I'm completely driven by what I enjoy doing. My life could have taken so many different paths and I'm just so happy that I'm on this like jackpot of a path. I can't think of anything I'd rather do.